Sterling Hill Zinc Mine in New Jersey holds an amazing secret. Sterling is home to the most famous zinc mines in the world. Please join me with special guests Patrick, Jeff, and Gary as we unlock Sterling Mines. Everyone dreams of finding something undiscovered, finding treasures others have passed by, hidden in plain sight until someone comes along with the key to discovery. My name is Eric Rintamaki, and in 2017, I uncovered a secret that would change my life forever, Uperlites. And now, because of my success with Uperlites, I am after treasure that everyone can find right here in America. We closed in 1986 was mined in earnest for about 150 years. Took out 10 million tons of ore. There's a million tons still left in there. Wow. 35 miles of tunnels, close to 3,000 feet deep, mostly filled with water up to about the 50 foot level now because the Wallkill River is right the other side here and it's up to that level. This was from the uh, 50s on the main entrance for the miners. Now where you're taking us, is this someplace you take the public or just? Yeah, this okay. is the, the main tour. There, there's actually, the additional tour is to go up top. Have yeah, you yeah. been up there? Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's where all the crush room wire buildings are. It's, it's incredible. And there's a bin up there that's loaded with a huge amount of ore from the last day when they shut everything off. You, the walls here are the Franklin Marble, essentially, that was the host rock for the metallic ores that were brought up by undersea black smokers 1.3 billion years ago. So we're going to encounter some children at some point, probably. Don't be frightened. <laughs> so I'm assuming before, like the, the early stages of the mine, there was no electricity in the mine? They were using carbide lamps up until the Edison lamp was invented. So the miners would come in here through this walkway, get their equipment here, not a respirator, what do they call those things? Uh, Self-rescuers. So the, the, the groups come in here and they sit down here and they get an orientation as we bring them in. It's oh, about okay. a two hour tour total. Oh jeez. But we're gonna go quickly because yeah. we got things to do. And now what is your main function here? I'm the vice president of the board of trustees. So I've been, that's a, like been affiliated with the mine for mm, 15 years. You don't see a light switch, do you, anywhere? <laughs> You're probably at the entrance here. Can we do that one more yeah. time? Very cool. This is where the, the ore cars would go up and dump the ore, and the miners would, would enter here. They'd come in the way we just came in, walk in, get on the man cage, and go down. Now, they're not going down all the way down this way. They go to the next level, get on another, go down another level, get another, get on another level. And it was a crusher down about the thousand foot level where they crushed it down to softball size, brought it up, and dumped it. So that bin that I'm talking about at the top has a whole bunch of ore in it about this big. And the, 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 the three zinc ores here are, Patrick? Well, zincite. Yeah. Willamite. Yeah. Um, I suppose, let's see, uh, well, Franklinite? Yep. Yeah. And zincite's a uh, simple zinc oxide, willamite's a zinc silicate, and Franklinite is a complex zinc iron manganese oxide. This is an example where, where the ore cars would come down and this is called a grizzly, and this is where they would dump. The crusher could not handle rocks larger than rectangles you see here. So these are the grizzly bars, yep. and he'd have to break up the big piece. Yep, yep. Well, you can see where the water level is here. We're gonna get down to that level at some point. It's about 40 or 50 feet. Yeah, 35 miles of tunnels, so there's a lot of underground here. But as I say, it's almost all filled with water now. It's all these drills, those are those run by water or? Um, yeah, uh, no, air. Right? air. Compressed air. Air, air, and you know, with water for lubrication. And yeah, between the two mines, we have 80 different fluorescent minerals, 80 or 90. We're famous for the red and green there, and uh, it, it's really gorgeous. Those two big slabs you see are what was cut from the slab that they have at the Museum of Natural History. Oh, really?
Now you really gotta watch your head, because this is the, as I say, the old part of the mine, and it's lower because they were shorter in the old days. We'll be right back after these commercial messages from our sponsors. Now the, uh, we're going to go into the Geotech Center, which houses an education area, but also the Warren Museum of Fluorescent Minerals, which the FMS says is the National Museum of Fluorescent Minerals. Uh, Tom Warren got us started on it. And what, this is a foundation of what was the giant mill back before the end of the 1950s when they tore it down and they built the mill up at the top of the hill. And this is, you were looking at that yellow, this is the uh, Warnerite, Meonite, Scapolite. Yep. Wow, look at all the crystals on that sucker. It's actually wicked phosphorescent. That group is caught up with us, gang. Oh, okay. We can, we can boogie through. These are... Somebody gave us these from up in Beamerville. This one and this one. That's from Beamerville? Yeah. Oh, so that's what we're going to look for today. Yeah. So this was the base of the, that was the, the change room, and this was the base of a gigantic mill. Huge. Uh, Patrick, you wanted to see the core samples? But these are the old cores here. Just watch you don't dump any of this on your head, right? This whole thing could collapse on you. It's not careful. Find some there's one, that, there's one that's there. got some green on it. Um, I think I see some up here. Oh yeah, there you go. Like, oh my god. Everything's, you know. I love that. Oh my god, that's nice. Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me for Unlocking Secrets. Next week, we're going to be going to the upper part of the mine with the crusher and see the belt. I'm gonna get some awesome drill cores and awesome pieces from the last day of production in 1986.